Welcome to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this tutorial we will be looking at the events library and in particular using keywords as means to organize your media. Now in Final Cut Pro 10 the organization features are vastly different from previous versions and indeed other video editing applications but this doesn't mean they aren't good features in themselves and I think that people are instantly assuming that change is bad. This is not always the case. It's different. I think one of the biggest problems that people are finding with Final Cut Pro 10 is that they feel that Final Cut Pro is telling people how to edit rather than an editor finding out how they like to work. Um, but this is not necessarily always a bad thing and in this organization we will see that it's actually quite useful. Now, the first thing I want to just talk about is that it's very easy to edit your footage in terms of uh, metadata, but I mean metadata in a light term, in the sense that if we click on a clip, you can see that over in the inspector panel, and if you can't see that, just press this I here, you can very quickly see the info, you can change the name, so I can choose uh, Scenic Park Shop, and then we can tab down to the notes and we can put Lovely Shop my favorite and then we can also look at some of the uh, video and audio settings so that we can prep it as it were for the timeline but the way that you organize media instead of using bins now what I mean by a bin is that in other applications um, you had media containment containers called bins and these kind of work like folders and you would store different shots under different folders so that you knew where to find them. Now that's actually a really good way of keeping yourself organized but it also meant that people could not keep themselves organized if they chose to as well. However this new way using keywords is actually even better in my opinion in the sense that we can see that we have some roundabout shots here. All of these shots have roundabouts. So let's click on all them shots and we can and press Command K, and that's going to load up our keyword selection. And we can add a new keyword. Any keywords that we've previously entered automatically get assigned a shortcut, and we can just press them, or we can drag them into here. So we can see that we want to add the roundabout because they all have a roundabout in them. The reason roundabout was here is because I had typed it earlier and removed it for the purpose of this tutorial. So now, over in our events library, you can see that we actually have a roundabouts tab or folder or keyword, smart collection, whatever you want to call it. And now all them clips are in it. Now what I was talking about, the benefits of keywords as opposed to just folders, because in many cases you would just put them in a roundabout folder, is that each clip can have multiple keywords. So for instance these two clips, we can select them, press command K again, and we can have wide shot. And now, them two shots are not only in the roundabout folder, the filming day one, because they're all filmed on the first day, but also in the wide shot folder. So very quickly it becomes apparent the benefits of using keywords. As covered in a previous tutorial, you'll know that having this slider set down low allows you to very quickly see the length of your shots, which is very handy. However, it's not also it's not always very productive, so I would strongly recommend keeping your setting at all uh, for the most part. However, you can actually change the style of how this looks. You can see that we have a little um, switch here, and that allows us to turn on the waveform, so we can see the waveform of all these audio clips. We can also change the height of them, so we can zoom in. But you can also see down here we've got a uh, chain. Uh, an alternative view option and that allows us to have them in list form. Now list form is my favorite because it you can very quickly see all your shots, it's kind of a little bit like Avid but you've still got the skimming capabilities of checking your shot really quickly and you know that your entire shot is going to just occupy this space as opposed to going onto multiple layers and I think that having to scroll to the end of a layer and then back to the beginning of the next layer is also very counterproductive so the list view counters that that flaw in my opinion. So that is basically it, that's how you use keywords, command K to add a keyword to a shot and then you can access all of these keywords.
and that is it you can obviously add them to sound as well and sound is managed just as video clips are and then let's say we wanted to throw in a wide shot you can see we've got a wide shot here we can set the in and the out range shove it into our timeline and now we're ready to go from the off